Warden. Something on your mind? I could get used to this, you know. Is that for me? Really? Wow! I'm... Wow! I... That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
Unexpected. Thank you. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Nothing Don't like a brush him. with death to make you not like death much. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. Wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Never found out. Got the feeling the man I spoke to was doing someone else's bidding, too. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denerim. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. I thought the same. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. She needs to answer for what she's done to me. If we are ever in Denerim, I would like to seek her out. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good.
Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. You ever wonder why the mages built their tower out in the middle of Lake Kalanhad? They have an aversion to practicality or something? Yes? Oh? What is this about? Oh, I see. Tauren must have sent you. I refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Come, men! To arms! Wow, I've never seen one of you knife ears dressed like the King of Ferelden before. You made good for yourself, eh? Oh, I don't mean no offence. I know I shoot my mouth off. I'm just not used to your kind, trussed up all fancy. Oh, no doubt about it. You pointy ears look better in fancy clothes than us clumsy lugs. Oh, there I go again. I don't mean nothing by it. I swear I should... I should start over. I'm mighty pleased to be making your acquaintance, miss. <laughs> don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic, but the tower's always got something to do with magic. You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. Good to see you again. Yes. Blood and yes. damnation. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. You're welcome. I was sent to be the eyes of the Antom. The Arishok asked what is the blight by his curiosity. I am now here. Why do you? 
Exactly. You don't ask, nor do I. The Arashok sends me and I go. A portion of it. Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Yes. I cannot go home. Thank you. Can we move on? We keep the Darkspawn waiting. Does it matter? Very well. I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Kalanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the Darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. I am told no others survived. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. Perhaps. I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. They said they found me with nothing. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arashok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Near Lake Kalanhad. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. <laughs>